What's up guys, Melissa Jasper here and welcome back to another look back at this time I'm going to do a look back at Banjo Kazooie because I was an idiot and did not do that when I did my let's play about this game um, I uh, also did that because you know not many people have seen my let's play and some promotion couldn't hurt so um, I'm mainly using title screen footage because I've no intention of playing this game in its entirety again just to show different kinds of footage so to show you a bit of gameplay instead of empty worlds I uh, thought I would uh, put this in the beginning so people of people who don't know this game that they can at least picture something about what the gameplay is like so this game Banjo Kazooie if you were a kid in the 90s then you've played this game. Even if you did not have an N64, you probably had a friend who had an N64 and this game, because this game is fucking awesome. It was developed by Rare, which a company who is now owned by Microsoft, but uh, in the 90s they made a lot of great Nintendo games and Banjo Kazooie was one of them. So I think this game was released in 96 or 97 and uh, this game was spectacular so it's an uh, adventure uh, type of game and the story premise is quite easy your sister gets kidnapped by an evil witch and you need to save her that's all um, you learn new moves throughout the levels you need to uh, you know gather jiggies to open uh, doors to the next levels you need musical notes to open doors in the witch's lair and uh, who by name is who by the way is named Gruntilla so it's actually a pretty easy premise and when I was a kid I, I was five years old when I played this game and I could understand so it's actually pretty easy to understand but it's incredibly well designed I mean the music fits the environments um, you've got beautiful beautifully designed environments who look great very colorful um, the gameplay is quite fun um, it's actually really fun you just need to uh, get into the game and uh, it's it's not a very long game either I mean if you know where everything is and uh, you've played the game before then you might take about an hour or six to complete the game to 100% it um, and if you haven't played it, maybe 10 hours. Um, but it's it's a great game, really fun to do. Um, you can replay it all all you want. I mean, in my opinion, the levels get never never get boring, to be honest. Um, and so many different kind of levels. You've got uh, levels that take place in winter. You've got a level that takes takes place in a port with a giant uh, cargo ship you've got uh levels that take place on a on a tropical island uh that take p place in wastelands i mean the diversity of the levels is just fantastic and the gameplay itself is is pretty easy i mean definitely the first levels when you play banjo kazooie uh to get these jigsaw pieces pretty easy but as you progress through the game then uh some parts will become a little bit more difficult but never truly challenging if if you want to put it like that sometimes it can get challenging but never really hard so it, it, it's a fun game to play um, the dialogues are great I mean the characters the bear and bird banjo and kazooie have great uh, those two are one of the best characters or the best characters that I've ever seen in a video game um I mean the way you partner uh banjo and the down to earth kind of bear banjo and his friend his uh female friend Kazooie who is sarcastic as fuck I mean it gr gives great uh, great chemistry in uh, in the game so um the game is also filled with many mini games uh from time to time it can get scary, well, at least for a five-year-old. Um, there are m a couple of side characters. Mumbo Jumbo is 
one of the most important side characters in the game uh, with Bottles uh, the Mole because Bottles uh, will teach you new moves and Mumbo Jumbo will transform you into a another form, another beast-like form and that will help you get more jiggies and um, the game if you if you haven't played it yet which you should be ashamed because this game is classic gaming history um, then you can always buy it on Xbox Live uh, it's only I think 1200 points or was it 16 I think 1200 points but now I'm not sure points aren't being used anymore if I'm not mistaken so it's about 15 bucks I guess 15 anyway um, download it for the Xbox and if you don't have an Xbox 360 but you have a working Nintendo with a working controller track down this game and play it I guarantee you you will not regret it it's a great game great story um, fun worlds um, it's it's just in in general uh, an awesome game. I mean, the gameplay is is again it's never old. It's it, it's timeless, so to say. It's just a classic platformer. Not too many you no know, shiny things or things that meant to distract you. It's if you play this for the first time, you get mis maybe ten hours of solid fun gameplay almost no grinding uh, almost no frustration because things a certain level is too difficult it's just an amazing game with an amazing sequel made by an amazing company who created some of the best games for the N64 so if you haven't heard of Rare and you haven't played this game you've been living under a rock my friend I hope you enjoy this and peace out guys